happy Saturday. Welcome to Dreams. I'm Margaret Bell with Forward Kind Heart. I am a multidimensional life coach, which means that I love helping people get unstuck from where they're stuck, whether that's pasts, trauma, beliefs, just those things that keep us stuck so that we can embrace the present and really like manifest and create our future. So I love helping and supporting people doing that. I also um, am passionate about working with empaths, star seeds, um, indigo children, highly sensitive people, you know, all of us that really feel the emotions and the depth of life and people and our surroundings. So thank you so much for joining this week. So this week, um, the topic is celebrities and archetypes in dreams. Now, I know like not everybody dreams of celebrities, and that's perfectly okay. Archetypes do show up in our dreams, and so an archetype is, um, it's like a standard for something. So if you think of mother, there's all these things that we equate being a mother to. Compassionate, caring, nurturing father, you know, discipline, you know, rule setting, things like that. And um, so that's what an archetype is. And then Jung also said about archetypes. And Carl Jung, he is um, really the, the therapist, the person that really um, brought the idea of archetypes into um, therapy. And so he, he said about archetypes, archetypes, in spite of their Con sorry, conservative nature are not static, but in a continuous dramatic flux. Thus, the self as the moad or continuous unit would be dead, but it lives in as much as it splits and unites again. There is no energy without opposites. And so um, I really like how Jung looks at archetypes and how archetypes affect us, affect our psychology, affect our worldview, and that, um, and how we live in those archetypes, right? And so then how do the archetypes play into our dreams? And celebrities so often can really hold a, um, like a part of that archetype. For instance, um, I don't know how many of you watch Criminal Minds, but Matthew Gray, Glo Matthew Gray Goobler plays Spencer Reed on that show. And so when I dream of Spencer Reed, the character, he comes in as the sage, the wise person. He comes in giving me advice about life, about whatever situation, whatever problem is in the dreams. Think about um, if you dream of a very motherly person. Um, I also watched The Walking Dead, and so one time I had a dream where the main character, Rick Grimes, was getting us through the school, and it was really intense. And in this dream, he really was like the protector, the father figure, the person that was really working to get us where we needed to be. You know, he was very like, come on, let's do this, let's do that. Um, oftentimes, people think of celebrity dreams as far as like crushes or desires. Um, somebody had shared with me that she had dreamt of her favorite band and that they had invited her onto the tour bus and she was really, really excited, but that her mom was there and her mom was concerned about the car and getting back to the car and they couldn't go on the tour bus because they had all these other things that they had going on that they needed to take care of. And so having that like oh my gosh, like, this is my dream. This is my favorite band. They're asking me to hang out with them. This is going to be amazing. But yeah, she's with her mother. So talk about like archetypes being like, bam, mom, compassionate, also protective, being like, well, we have to take care of these being like practical. So in her dream, her mother very much being that practical side, like we can't run off with this band. We can't just get on their tour bus and tour across the United States. You know, we have goals, we have responsibilities, we have things that we need to do, and this is not realistic. And so her fantasy world, her dream world, her what she wants in life clashing with her responsibilities, what she needs to do, where she needs to be in life, and that often happens. So uh, when we dream of celebrities, you know, really a lot of times if they're not representing the archetype of something like I, my example with like Spencer Reed and Criminal Minds and that like wise person, they can also 
be bringing us clues into our fantasies, into our desires, into where we want to be in life, the things we want to do, the places we want to go, they can come in and bring that insight. I tend to dream a lot about celebrities, and that's why I wanted to talk about this topic now, because I dream a lot about them. But I also notice that when a lot of people do dream about them, they come in as archetypes. Uh, they come in with that um, wise wisdom. They can collect us. They can connect us to the collective unconscious, and the collective unconscious really is that place of where we're all connected, like everything that connects us. And archetypes are that because we all have a standard for what a mother, a father, a fool, a magician a protector you know and archetypes can be as broad as you want them to be i know some people um are very particular there's some Jungian that follow carl Jung analysis that will say there's these many archetypes or there's these many archetypes and i don't necessarily prescribe to that because i feel that if there is a standard for something and we a lot of us agree on that then that's what it is you may not be across the board it could be cultural you know if one culture may have a different view of mother and father than another culture but it is cultural there are enough people that agree and um, subscribe to that such so as like when you look at the tarot cards and the major arcana those are representing archetypes there they are representing universal energy universal themes universal ideas and so that can be a really good way to look at archetypes. They're going to be named something different. And that's another thing when you start to look into archetypes. You know, you have your Jungian archetypes. Then you have other, you know, psychological archetypes. You know, Carol Mize is um, huge into archetypes. And she has different archetypes. But then again, they fit things like mother, prostitute, father, protector. You know, they, they have universal meaning. And it can be very culturally tied. And so if you're thinking that there is an archetype in your dream, look at that significance. Is there a cultural meaning to who this person is in your dream, to what they represent in your dream? And that's a lot of times when we dream of celebrities because they come in with that universal meaning, with that universal thing that connects them to us. You know, and maybe in your dream, you know, you dream of celebrity and they represent authority. And then somebody else dreams of that celebrity and they represent the father. Um, a good example is somebody like Kurt Cobain, right? Some people would really feel that he would come in with like this sage energy, this wise energy. Other people might feel that he has more of like the magician energy or the fool energy because of you know who he was in life and that's okay like this is your dream you get to decide with it what you want and what hits here you know we talk about like universal meanings for dreams right that's why i think they're great like if you run online and you look up certain things that's great because there is that that ties you to the universal energy the universal unconscious but it doesn't tie you to your own personal meaning right because we all have different experiences with archetypes we all have different experiences with different celebrities you know there there's a lot of celebrities that somebody might be like oh my gosh i can't stand them i think they're this and somebody else being like oh my god i love them they're this now you know i talk about shadow every week when i do this so if you're dreaming of a celebrity and you're like oh my god i dreamt of so and so i cannot stand them that should like send off like the little alarms you you're hitting your shadow like you're being awoken to some shadow energy that that is there that you need to start to play with and work with and figure out you know what is going on with this energy like what does this represent what does this mean who is this and really taking your time or just putting some energy into oh my gosh so i dreamt of the celebrity and those feelings that come up that are invoked when you dream of that celebrity upon waking and a lot of times we do have celebrity crushes and we do dream of our celebrity crushes and that's perfectly wonderful because that is giving us clues into the kind of person that we want in our life the kind of way we want to be treated or maybe it's the kind of way we don't want to be treated because maybe the celebrity is really mean to you or like just shrugs you off that's okay like 
that is giving you more insight into into places that you're stuck, into places that you need to free up, into places that need your love and attention. Because so often our dreams are our subconscious bringing material to the top so that we can work with it. So that our conscious mind is now aware of this information and then gets to play with it and then bring it, bring it into our waking life so that we can make those changes that we want to make. So that we can do those things that we want to do, right? The subconscious brings it in the dream, and then we are now aware, and now we have material we can work with. And that's, that's what's so wonderful about dreams, is we get this material in all of these different symbolisms, and it's multi-layered. So you may say, oh, I dreamt about work, like we talked about last week, I know what this is about. But then as you peel that work layer, you're like, oh, Oh my gosh, now there's this layer, and now there's this layer, and now there's this layer, and now there's this layer. You know, it's so it's it's really deep. You know, or we can take our dreams at the surface level, or we can just peel those layers. And some dreams we might just be like, oh, I'll take it at surface level. It's not really that big of a thing. I know with dreams, and when I work with people in dreams, I talk to them about like the quick hit. That's gonna give you like that first initial. What did this dream mean? Like, what what was going on? And you're going with your intuition. You're going with your gut. And a lot of times, that's the information that we're good with working with. That's the information that we can mold and play with. Because it does. It takes time. It takes energy. It takes work when we sit and we work with our dreams. But you will be amazed at the kind of information that you will get when you really start to peel back those layers, when you really start to look at the... A deeper meaning of the dream the deeper things that are going on in that dream and have fun with them like let your imagination really come to life like play with those symbols play with the imagery that comes up if you're dreaming of a celebrity have fun with that like what is it about this celebrity that your subconscious chose to dream about what does this celebrity represent to you what does this celebrity represent to the greater culture to the greater group of people who is this celebrity? Do they play a certain kind of character? How do you relate to that character? Is there an archetype in that character or in the celebrity as the person? And you can really start to look at that. Another really fun thing to do is if you dream of a celebrity and you're kind of like, whoa, why did I dream of that person? Or wow, that was a really interesting dream. And you don't have somebody to process that dream with. In your dream journal, and you can do it typing or writing, however you keep your dream journal, have a conversation with that celebrity. Hey, thank you so much for joining my dream. I'm really curious as to what brought you to my dream. Do you have a message for me? Do you represent something? And don't censor this, because we can be really quick to when we have these thoughts come up to censor it, to block it, to be like, well, that's not what this is about. Oh, I don't want to hear that. Oh, that just doesn't make any sense. It will eventually make sense. You just have to give it time. So to remember that, you know, to be like, okay, I'm not going to censor what comes up. And you might have to sit with it, you know, for a few days, a week or so. You might have to just let it stew and cook. And then it'll slowly, and then you'll have that aha moment where you're like, oh my gosh, that's why I dreamt of this person. This was the message. This is what's going on. This is where I want to be. I need to be what I need to work on. And so embracing that dream, you know, when you dream of the celebrity. And so again, like when we dream of celebrities, there's a couple different things that are going on and there could be way more things going on. I'm just covering generalities here because we don't have time to fall down that rabbit hole and go through all of that stuff. And dreams are so uniquely individual as well as global. And so taking that time to find your individual experience, your individual meaning, your individual message, and then you can tie it into the glo 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 global context of everything and the global meaning and what it means for you as a person here on the planet, how it ties into your soul's purpose and all of that. So like I said, dreams are multi-layered. And so when you dream of the celebrity, Look at the feeling. How did you feel around them? What was going on? It could be that you need more passion in your life. You want the attention that you felt from that celebrity. You want to be like that celebrity. You want to have those qualities. 
your shadow could be right in your face, showing you the qualities in you that you need to embrace, that you need to own, that you shun and push away. Could be that they're representing an archetype and maybe you need to work with that archetype, embrace that archetype, befriend that archetype. Maybe you are that archetype and really looking at who is the celebrity? What do they mean to me? What do they mean on the bigger scale? Why did they come to my, into my dream? And really just having fun with it. Because celebrity dreams can be really fun. They can be a little bit kind of like cheating dreams. Sometimes we can be taken a little bit back by their presence in our dream or by what's going on. So really looking at as well as not only the celebrity in your dream, but the context. Like I was talking about like um, The Walking Dead and that context is end of the world. That's what the show is about, like the zombie apocalypse. So a zombie apocalypse with a father archetype is gonna be much different than you know sitting in the grass, meditating with Kurt Cobain. Two completely different things, two completely different things going on and that's perfectly okay. That That's wonderful, like that is where you are. And so being able to be like, ooh, in this dream, I was in the end of the world. I was terrified. I was scared. All right. So there's fear going on. There's lack going on. There's a sense of urgency going on in that dream. In this dream, I was sitting in the grass. I was meditating with Kurt Cobain. I felt so peaceful. I felt at rest. I felt calm. Okay. Do you need more of that in your life? Is that a calling to have that? Was it just a dream to let you know that you can be in that state? So really looking at each of these things and having fun with it. Like try not to take your dreams super seriously because that can become very daunting and tiring when we just really get pulled into the seriousness of our dreams. Cause yeah, they're serious, but they're also rich with imagination and vibrant with colors and all kinds of things. And so you just have fun. Like, because the more relaxed you are and the more fun it is, the more easier it is going to be to pull out those different meanings, right? If we're tons, we're like, oh my God, I had a nightmare, it was the end of the world. Oh my God, I'm so anxious okay, where am I anxious in life? Where am I feeling like it's the end of the world? And being open to that and being curious and then helping to dissipate that energy so that you're not constantly feeling like, oh my God, it's the end of the world. All these things are happening. And so, yeah, just embracing the experience of the dream. Okay, so sum it up really quickly. Celebrity dreams are to me, but then again, that's me. I love dreams. I love being in this place of imagination of profound messages and healing so really looking at who is the celebrity to you who is the celebrity to you know the greater culture you know who do they represent are they representing an archetype and what is the message that they're bringing to you and so that is my bit on celebrity dreams if, again, if you have any dreams that you want me to work with, message me, talk to me, hit me up. I will love to work with your dreams. I will always ask you if I can share it here. So if you tell me no, I will not share it. Or if you say yes, but not my name, cool, whatever. You know, because I just love working with dreams. I find them so eye-opening and expanding and soul-opening when we work with our dreams. So thank you for watching this week. Next week we are gonna, I am going to look at animal dreams because this week um, I talked with three different people about three different animal dreams. And so I really want to explore that. You know, what does it mean when we dream of animals? What's going on there? And yeah, so you can find me here on Facebook, YouTube. Instagram, Twitter, you can hit me up any of those ways that work for you. And yeah, I'd love to hear from you or work with you or hear what you got going on. Dreams and I'll see you next week. Bye.